This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List as we salute things to do across the state of Texas during the summer. I am standing outside the Hotel Galvez. Opened June 10th, 1911, it is the only historic beachfront hotel on the entire Texas Gulf Coast. But our next stop has a few things a bit older than the hotel. We stop off in Sonora to get a look at some stalactites and some stalagmites. As you drive west, you can't help but notice the signs to the caverns of Sonora. Just a few miles off the highway, you'll find this Texas treasure on the Mayfield Ingham Ranch. But before you go on your two hour tour, you'll meet up with your tour guide, Bill Sawyer, and he has some ground rules. We don't allow any jackets or sweaters inside because the formations are so close to the trail that it snags the formations and it, it, it snaps them off. Don't worry, you're not gonna need them. You sweat out here. The cave is fairly warm, uh, the humidity being so high, uh, 98 percent makes it feel a little steamy in the cave. Then we began our descent. Stay on the trail and don't touch anything, okay? We're in, we'll be good. We're going to go down to the second level before the trail gets level again and that's about uh, 50 feet from the surface. After just a few minutes, you're surrounded by beauty. It's a big surprise for a lot of people. In caverns that have only seen artificial light, you'll see some of the most amazing natural beauty hidden deep in the heart of Texas. And it doesn't take long for the caverns of Sonora to take your breath away. For 22 years, I've heard people ooh and ah about the cavern, and it never gets old. These incredible formations have been growing slowly for the past two to four million years. The age of the thing, you know, and the time that it took, you know, uh, to do something like this is, you know, it's hard for people to understand. And when you tell them that on the tour, you know, it just um, makes you feel, you know, small, it makes you feel small. Geologists have been able to determine that this part of Texas has gone through some serious changes. Uh, 64,000 years, we've identified six real distinct climate changes. Uh, one of them, a tropical climate, um, a lot of color in the formation. Uh, they identified a glacial period. Not that the glacier got this far south, but it caused the weather to change a great deal. And they even identified a hardwood forest that grew above the cave at one time. The sheer natural beauty of this place and the time it took to create it is simply mind-blowing. And Bill has seen firsthand what it can do to visitors. And I'll never forget it as long as I live. We came in here and the lady looked around and she started crying. She just started crying, you know, and it was, um, Sometimes it's uh, pretty emotional for people to see something like this. Even though these caverns are literally in the middle of nowhere, it draws curious cave explorers from all over. The diversity of the people is just incredible. It's almost like the cave. It was awesome. It was really cool to see everything. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Just getting a chance to envelop yourself in this place is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. You will not regret seeing this cave. Pretty show cave on the planet. I've never seen anything like it before, you know. I've been to a lot of caverns before, and this one's, I like it the best, you know, out of all of them. It's huge, it's unbelievable. It's like another world, you know. It's like something you'd see in a fantasy movie or something, it's just beautiful. Generation after generation should take the opportunity to take the time to show their kids and, and uh, let them see what, what Texas really has for them.